you to stand as the seventh and eighth graders come forward.
some of you might recognize the uh, composer of that last one, or the arranger, uh, Ben Cornelis, who used to be our director at Dort. So that one was arranged by him. And earlier, the sixth grade group, just to note that this is one of the groups that sang in our solo ensemble uh, event uh, last month. So we were glad that they were also willing to uh, share their music with us uh, tonight. And later on, we'll have an eighth grade group also that sang for them. Uh, we're going to continue with things that they Joy Lane is taking her viola out. This is, uh, you know, the text is by Charles Dickens. And here is the text. The pure, the bright, the beautiful that stirred our hearts in youth. The impulses to wordsless prayers, the streams of love and truth, the longing after something lost, the spirit's longing cry, the striving after better hopes. These things, these things cannot die.
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest.
the sixth stage change, which is happening silently, is um, an exciting song. Let everything that has breath. And this song is based off of a song, and I would like to read that song. Psalm 150, and this comes from the ESV. Praise the Lord! Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him for His mighty heavens. Praise Him for His mighty deeds. Praise Him for, the excellent, for His excellent greatness. Praise Him with the trumpet sound. Praise Him with the lute and harp. Praise Him with the tambourine and dance. Praise Him with strings and pipe. Praise Him with sounding cymbals. Praise Him with loud crashing cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And here we do that, not with crashing cymbals, well, I guess we do have some crashing cymbals, uh, with pipe or flutes, but with our voices. And so as we praise the Lord, um, just reflect upon that. Before we do that, though, there is an acknowledgement that I and some students would like to make. As you may know, there are some coming forward. This is Mrs. Friend's last choir concert in this capacity. She is going to be doing some more with faith formation. And I'm going to see a lot, but girls, she can speak better than this. But I can. So, Mrs. Fenn, we really appreciate you teaching us choir for the past few years, and we really appreciate you giving us the love of music. We miss you so much, and we hope you have a good future at your new 